The Charleston Jewish Federation's Holocaust Remembrance Day event today focused on the importance of remembering the lives lost, but also how to continue their message of strength to future generations. Our Emily Johnson was at the Gilliard Center and heard a local Holocaust survivor's story. She shares with us what he wants children today to remember about history. 11 million people died during the Holocaust, including 6 million Jewish people. We were chased and bombed by the Germans many times. In fact, my uncle's wife was killed in one of the raids, but somehow we managed to survive. Local Holocaust survivor Harry Schneider shared his story being only three years old when the war began. Living three hours outside of Warsaw, Schneider and his family evaded German forces and were denied entry by Russians in a no man's land for two years. And I remember being five or six years old waiting alone lines with a bucket trying to get some milk from my sister. After the war was over in 1945, they left Russia and returned to Poland. In 1948, President Truman permitted 100,000 Jews to immigrate to the United States from displaced person camps, including the Schneiders. We were one of the ones, fortunate ones. However, it took us like two years to get a visa. Finally, the Jewish community in Washington, Pennsylvania, which is right outside Pittsburgh, sponsored us. We came to the States in 1950. Schneider grew up and started a life for himself in America, moving to Charleston last summer to be closer to his daughter. He now works hand in hand with the Charleston Jewish Federation's Remember program, which focuses on how to continue the legacy as the last Holocaust survivors slowly pass away. They were a part of our community and most of them aren't here with us anymore. So if they're not here with us anymore, we have to continue to telling those stories, making sure these kids know that there was local Holocaust survivors that made Charleston their home and that we have to continue. From fifth grade to high school, the Remember program visits schools around the low country, bringing survivors to share their stories and answer questions. So please, uh, this is all as a survivor I can ask you to do is just to keep on speaking about it so it doesn't happen again. It can happen again if we don't speak a lot about it. 80 years later, the millions of lives lost are still remembered today. In Charleston, Emily Johnson, Life 5 News.